Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's David's car. And hopefully we'll have my car back soon. She's getting fixed next week and I'm very excited. Um, just in time before we move in two weeks. So, so grateful. Just in case y'all were wanting an update on that. Anyway, today it's raining and it's gross, but apparently I'm still like this in this mood. I am, my brain today is like not braining. I'm not going to lie to you, but we're going to Bloomfield and I'm not going to lie. I'm not super excited about it. And I, I'm not all that hopeful. We've been going every like two weeks, I'd say about for a while now and they haven't really had anything new and every time I'm like they have to have something new this time right and now I'm just gotten to the point where I'm like assuming they're not gonna have anything new but how am I supposed to know if we don't go check right so we're gonna go to the Lowe's and then we're gonna go to Home Depot in Bloomfield Connecticut it is kind of like the closest ones to where I live so that's why I go there as often as I do. There's a Home Depot closer to me, but they don't really have much of anything. I was just there yesterday. Didn't need to film it. There was nothing there. They all needed to see. They don't have like trending tropicals or like, they don't carry anything. They only have like Home Depot um, brand plants, which is unfortunate, except for the succulents. They'll get in like, I don't know. Sometimes they have good stuff though just not lately. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go to Bloomfield, Connecticut, and we're going to start with the Lowe's. Okay, fam. So we are at the Lowe's in Bloomfield, Connecticut, and as soon as I walk in, they did have some new succulents and cacti that just came in, but I'm going to loop around back to these towards the end. Um, we're going to check out these foliage plants first. We've got some really nice stuff here from Live Trends, this cute fiddle leaf fig. This is um, some sort of fern. Not exactly sure what, but I thought the hanging pot was really, really cute. Live Trends comes out with some really adorable pottery, in my opinion, especially the Urban Jungle line. I just love some of these pots. And there's definitely always new ones coming out, and I appreciate that because there's not a whole lot of variety from some of the other companies. So anyway, this is a zebra plant. And it's $13.98 in this cute little stripy pot. This is an asparagus fern. It looks super delicate and adorable, but it is kind of a little bit prickly, which is unfortunate. But um, there's also some bamboo down here, some pothos, some cute snake plants. I always forget the name of this one. <laughs> I know it starts with an H. And y'all told me last time, and I was like, yeah, yeah, that one, um, but I forget. And then look at how cute this little juniper is, you guys. It's really not little at all. Ugh, I want one. I just really need to get into the new place and see how my plants are going to fit in there before I start going crazy buying anything new, even though I literally have plant mail for you. Like, I have another unboxing, and like, <laughs> it's, I swear it's the last one. I No, it's not. I'm lying. I have one more coming, and then that's the last one until after the move. That's a lemon lime Maranta. Um, but they're really little baby plants, so like, they don't count, right? They don't count. Crash says they don't count. Anywho, this is a heart leaf philodendron, and it's really cute, and it's starting to trail, and I don't think I've seen this pot before, so I thought that was interesting. They also have these larger stripy pots for $22.98, and then I believe this one is also $22.98. So, like I said, lots of ferns. They've got tons of Brazil and different pothos hanging up there, so... Tons of epipremnum, tons of philodendron. People tend to lump them both together into the pothos category, but pothos is not actually like a plant name, um, not one that's used anymore. So I usually use it for epipremnum, not philodendron, but you know what I mean? You do you, boo boo. You do you. 
$14.98. I don't know why it's crossed out. I think maybe it's on sale. Really cute, Sabu Blue. Not mad about that pot either. Some Neon Pothos, Marble Queen Pothos. They've got some Raffidophora Hayi. And it looks like they're two for 30 for the 1.4 quart foliage, which is not these ones. So I don't know, maybe that hanging Sabu Blue is the only one that's left in the sale. Not 100% not positive. I'm trying to see if any of the other tags are crossed out, but some of them are on sale apparently. And then this basket of the Pearls and Joy Pothos or Epipremnum is really, really gorgeous. And like I said, super full and bushy and I'm not mad at it. And it is $20.98 for this babe. I hope somebody buys her and takes her home because she's so cute and i'm getting stabbed by sago palms underneath me there's some dogtail cactus and this lipstick plant here sago palms are so aggressive you guys if you know you know there's some mixed pots here lots more pothos i think these ones are wick and grow i'm not sure if they're 1.4 quart i don't think so because these are like newer plants to come out. Uh, Monstera adansonii, absolutely massive. These ones are $20 in the self-watering pots from Costa Farms. The new Wick and Grow containers, they're more expensive than the old ones. And then over here, there is, of course, some floor plants, some Bird of Paradise, lots of Dracaena going on in here. And you guys already know I gotta check all the Bird of Paradise because I really would love to find a variegated one. It's on my wish list. I also just love finding sport variegated plants, so I'm always on the hunt for that. And some of you have been asking me, what is sport variegation? It's just a natural mutation that can happen in plants that causes some sort of unique variegation and it's not usually a variegated plant it's coming normally from a non variegated plant or a mother and something happens genetically where it has some sort of variegation on it so it can be green on green yellow i even found some white variegated sport variegated um monstera at this lowe's actually a while back and that one's doing really well if you guys have seen my more recent like plant shore videos and stuff like that so anyway lots of succulents <laughs> I'm pretty sure we skipped over the creepy ass bromeliads by now if I'm not mistaken but they halt they ha huh, I can talk they have <laughs> some more <laughs> sale plants right here look at how cute this marble queen is that one would definitely be categorized as a snow queen. They are technically the same plant. It's just a little bit more variegated. $16.98 for these. This is the Enjoy Pothos. It's just so good. You guys, it's so good. Both of those are so gorgeous and you can get them both for $24. Two for $24 for these hanging baskets. The smaller ones for $16.98 is such a steal. There's a cute little lipstick plant over here if you wanted to rehab her. She's got new growth. She just needs a little bit of love, so I feel like that would be a good choice. There's a Hoya Cartesii behind that I forgot to grab and show you guys, but I did move it so it would be easier, of course, for the next person to come along and stumble upon. And then I thought this plant was really interesting. I feel like maybe I've seen it before, but... I don't remember. It is called Prince. Full name Kala. You know what? I feel like it's so easy to say these things in my head, and then when I try to say it out loud, um, it doesn't work out. But anyway, it's fuzzy. I don't know if you can tell. I was trying to show you guys that this plant is literally soft to the touch, and it's lovely. So if you know anything about it, um, let us know in the comments below because I'm sure I'm not the only one that would be curious if it's something that you've grown before, if it's an easygoing plant, if it's a good indoor plant, etc. So this is a cute little begonia over here, same one that I put in one of my geckos enclosures. And then in this section of the store, we have some floor plants, some ZZs, lots of Monstera Deliciosa. You know we gotta check them 
$22.98. You should always glance through these plants, even the ZZs you can find variegated. You never know. The peace lilies I have found sport variegated. That's a kiwi dracaena right there. I really like the colors on that one. Money trees right here you can find sport variegation as well. And then of course tons of palms. And like I promised you guys, the succulents. So these are really cute little four succulent trays for $7.98. Really great if you like to do succulent arrangements, which are so much fun and make really great gifts, especially this time of year. And um, I was trying to take this stupid fake flower off of this cactus because look at the beautiful real pink flowers coming off of it. I just don't know why you would glue on a fake one. I turned my flash on really quick because it was kind of dark back there so we can take a better look at some of the stuff that's hiding in here. Lots of colorful, beautiful succulents. You guys, I am a huge succulent fan. I just don't really talk about them that much and I don't have that many. So, but I do love a good cacti and a euphorbia and every once in a while, a succulent so stay tuned I got a repot all of my cacti and I'm probably gonna take you guys along with me I might do it live so make sure your notifications are on I'll do my best to let you guys know ahead of time but I can be kind of spontaneous about it and I apologize for that anyway more cacti the blue candle one in the back looked like it was kind of sun stressed purple and I thought it was really pretty this one kind of looks like a bunhole and then there is this plant that looks like a dracaena but it's not a dracaena it's a, a yucca a yucca and it's really pretty i don't know anything about it but the colors are really nice so i wanted to show it to you the leaves are really stiff on it too so it kind of looks like agave and dracaena had a baby and that's what it looked like so more butt rocks over here string of pearls nothing super exciting they do have this really pretty variegated elephant bush some string of dolphins and then more succulents these ones are looking really fresh and nice as well and then i spotted one of mine and david's favorites back here the euphorbia fire sticks or pencil cactus there's a few different names for it i don't know the botanical name exactly but you know it is what it is some really cute already made succulent arrangements if you want to you know just buy it and gift it already like that i thought this pot was really cute but um i do think it's really fun to make them yourself succulent arrangements are just a really creative thing to do with some pretty plants and you just you have colors in succulents that you don't get in other plants so snake plant over here you guys whale fin i don't know i just had a brain fart but that's it for the lows okay fam so that was lows in bloomfield connecticut and it didn't seem like they really had a ton of new stuff, but they did have a lot of stuff, like good looking stuff on sale. And I found a Hoya Cartesii, like the smaller Costa Farms hanging basket, and I was kind of tempted to get that and like one of the Pothos maybe, uh, or both of the Pothos. Like, I don't know. They were two for 24. They're on sale. They've been on sale for like a week. They're going to be on sale for like another week or so. I might come back. <laughs> I feel like I want to give other people the opportunity to get them because they are really healthy, good looking plants for a good price. Um, but they've also already been on sale for a week. So like, I don't know realistically, like if anybody's going to buy them. So if you're local and you've been wondering what they have in the Bloomfield Lowe's, that's it. Um, so if you're wanting to snag any of those sale plants, you totally should because if not, I'm probably going to come back and get them right before the sale is over and um, rescue them and like send them off to somebody who does want them. So let me know what you think I should do in the comments below if I should snag those or if I should just leave them and forget about it because I'm like moving soon too and like do I really need to be worried about more plants but like 
I'm not going to be keeping them. Anyway, let's go to Home Depot. This Home Depot, in case you've never been here, is very hit or miss. So sometimes I find really great stuff there. I found my really gorgeous marble pink princess there. And other things in the past, they do carry like decent trending tropicals. It's just whether or not they have anything new. And they haven't in a while. But sometimes they have good like hanging baskets of Hoya. I've got tons of like huge healthy hanging baskets of Hoya from this Home Depot. So I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go to Home Depot. Okay fam, now we are at the Home Depot in Bloomfield, Connecticut. And again, as soon as we walk in, there's some cacti and succulents. It's looking like pretty much all the same stuff. So I'm just going to skip that for right now. And then they have their regular degular assorted foliage from Vigoro over here for $15.98. Some pothos, some aglionema, snake plants hiding back there, a couple of fiddle leaf figs, the usual suspects, some ZZs, ferns. We have this beautiful lemon lime maranta hanging here as well. I see some aglionema hiding on the bottom there that I skipped over this monstera peru they also have some lemon meringue these ones are in the new wick and grow containers for twenty dollars they still have this pink princess that's not very pink anymore or i suppose it could have been a white wizard but i don't know why i'm just assuming pink princess or a white knight rather white knight has the red on the stems not the white wizard i get them confused i'm sure you guys do too Anyway, some more assorted foliage over here. Nothing out of the ordinary. They also have a lipstick plant hiding down there. Lots of pothos, lots of dracaena, some purple waffle plant right there. And then over here, I skipped over this begonia, maculata, some adansonii, and of course, no shortage of ZZ ravens. So those also make a great gift in case you were wondering i don't know it's just a great time to give plants as gifts and i like giving plants as gifts so anyway they do have some really nice hanging baskets of cebu blue here i haven't seen large baskets of this in a while i've been seeing the smaller ones in the decorative pots pop up but these are 20.98 and i'd say that's a pretty good deal for this big bushy plant these can get a little bit straggly so plan to cut it back a lot if you want it to trail if you get it up a pole you can actually get some really big beautiful fenestrated leaves on that one so 10 out of 10 recommend if you like a good pothos so some syngonium here purple passion plant different types of ivy but otherwise the usual assorted foliage from costa farms and then hanging here they had a really nice cebu blue probably the nicest one in my opinion really full and trailing and some syndapsis hiding in here cute little pink fetonia nothing out of the ordinary though some spider plants and then behind me here, there's a Dracaena and a fiddle leaf fig on the floor. Some more succulents and cacti, nothing to get excited about. And then over here, we have all of the Proven Winners stuff in these like H2O pots. They've got tons of pothos, of course. There's, again, no shortage of, no shortage of pothos some philodendron on the bottom there and then over here we have more adansonii whatever this really cute calathea i think um magic star no something like that it's really it's a stromanthe i'm pretty sure um 1998 for this cute hanging basket of pothos some ficus and philodendron down here another sable blue hanging basket that really cute sedum trailing succulent there and then they had this absolutely adorable bonnie spider plant i like the bonnie because she's like kind of curly it looks like curly hair it would look so cute in a face pot but i'm sure that that's like really cliche um and i don't care 
because it looks like curly hair and it's cute so anyway more succulents and cacti over here for the life of me cannot figure out why they think it's a good idea to paint cacti like is that appealing to people like it's it's literally purple like you spray painted it purple it's it's kind of weird um if i wanted a purple plant i would just like buy a fake one right anyway Haworthia, mirabilis something or other really cute not mad about that for 4.98 there's definitely some good finds in here if you guys like succulents there's there's tons of butt rocks brain rocks whatever you want to call them um popping up this year for sure i got some actually at trader joe's for really cheap and they had nice colors but um we're not at trader joe's we're at home depot <laughs> and there's some more stuff from vigoro over here nothing really super exciting some pilea a couple of begonia more pilea plants and um i think that's really it there's some more creepy bromeliads palms They've got their floor plants over here, some ficus, fiddle leaf figs, tons of ZZ plants, the usual stuff, the same stuff that we're seeing pretty much everywhere. But of course, gotta check, you gotta check the bird of paradise. <laughs> and that is it for the Home Depot in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Okay, fam. <laughs> that was the Home Depot in... Bloomfield, Connecticut. And it was pretty bad. They didn't have anything new. Like, everybody just has, like, new cacti and succulents, but they haven't really gotten new foliage plants. So, I'm just, like, kind of over the big box stores right now because it's, like, it's April. The garden center doors are open. Why haven't we gotten anything good, you know? So... There were Sable Blues. Those looked nice if you're into those, if you don't have one yet. Um, but otherwise, they just have the same old trending tropicals that they've had for, like, months in there that, like, nobody wants. So, maybe it's time to put them on sale, but they don't do that. So, not with the Costa Farms stuff. Anyway, Costa Farms actually has their own employees that come in and take care of the plants. Yeah spoken with a girl who comes to water the plants here and take care of them and prune them the, that was she thanked me for helping her prune the plants anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed i don't know why i'm i'm being so italian right now <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and that you enjoyed my commentary and all of that despite there not really being anything super great the lows wasn't bad in terms of like the plants but you guys know I'm always itching to find something new. So I know I get tons of comments where people are like, this is so much better than mine. I get it. I know it's still like good. They still have like good stuff, like good plants and like a wide variety of plants. I just <sighs> want to find a freaking Thai con or something. You know what I mean? Like there's not that I need one. If I found one, I probably wouldn't even buy it unless I found one with like really nice um sectoral variegation like as well as marble I don't really like the tycons that are just fleckled like marble people call them like bird <laughs> people refer to them as the bird poop monstera <laughs> when it doesn't have like sectoral and if you guys have not seen one of my tycons and my collection has like half moons and it's absolutely gorgeous so they totally can be the broke man's elbow if you find one with really good chunks of like that creamy variegation it's not white it's more creamy but it's still beautiful and from what I've seen the ones the smaller ones that people are finding in Walmart actually look pretty good um, and they're a good size so <sighs> Let me know in the comments below if you have found them yet. And people have been finding different types of Hoya and things that I still have not seen yet. So, and we're moving. We're moving soon. So, we're going to explore a whole new area. We've been to some of the big box stores up in New Hampshire, but there's definitely a lot more to explore. So, bear with me. There's probably not going to be a ton of plant shopping coming in the next couple of weeks just because we're going to be in the middle of moving but once we're settled in I will be 100% taking you to like tons of new places so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything also you should give this video a thumbs up it helps out the algorithm I appreciate it 
Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. YouTube sometimes is decent at notifying you when I've uploaded or when I go live. I want to start doing uh, more lives here for you guys. I do a lot of lives over on Instagram as well as plant story slash palm street. So make sure you're following me over there as well. I'll always have the plant story palm street um, linked down below for you guys. So definitely download the app if you haven't yet. It's a lot of fun and I just go live once a week on there and like hang and sell stuff but also like we're just chilling so and I'm on for like a long time <laughs> so definitely come and hang out even if you're not really looking to buy any plants or rocks I sell rocks now in case you didn't know if you like crystals and rocks um I have them and I'm selling them so come on over and hang out and uh, I have things just like listed up in my shop too if you want to just like shop my page on plant story you don't have to buy them in a live so all the things that I have currently available are listed in my shop on plant story so make sure you go and check it out if you want to then you can get ahead of uh, what people might buy in the next live so I do list everything up there I have new inventory coming lots of really pretty really pretty rocks and crystals and stones um, so come on over and hang out if you're into that so I'm gonna stop talking now if you watched this whole entire video leave me rain emojis little clouds cute little clouds and such uh, because it's rainy it's April but it's fine I love you guys so so very much I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world even if it's raining like this I still hope you're having a great day and don't forget to be kind to people if you do go out of your house or even just gotta call a customer service <laughs> remember you're not mad at the person <laughs> I always call sidebar you can leave if you don't want to hear me ramble how many times I've called a customer service number and been yelling and been like I'm so mad about the situation and I'm like I'm not mad at you Frank just want to clarify <laughs> I'm mad at your company <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys so, so very much. Please don't forget to drink some water today as well. And I'll see you in the next one.